Hi, it's Darnell with Weight Loving Recipes, and today I'm going to grill some chicken burgers from Frozen on the New Wave Primo Grill Oven. This is interesting and a little funny too, and I'm going to show you why right now. Alright, so I've got myself some chicken patties here that are frozen. Now the interesting thing, this is the funny and interesting part, is that these are frozen grilled chicken patties, right? So they've got like kind of a grill mark on them, or sear mark on them. Now you see the ones on the box, and then when I get them out of here, you'll see something a little more interesting about these. They've got like a sear side and a non-sear side. I'm going to put them on the grill plate on their sear side, and you can see that one there. I'm going to get one more. I guess I'll, I'll hold it up close for you. Have a look at it. It's got like this light sear. I mean, you know sometimes you wonder if these are painted on or if it's a real sear mark but I want to show you a real sear on a real grill here you know I'm not saying that they fake the sear marks I'm just saying they look a little light <laughs> so basically what I do I just put them on straight with no frills put the lid on the new wave primo grill oven and I'm going to turn it on up the temperature to 400 degrees Fahrenheit going to set the time down to just 13 minutes 50 50 on the heating elements hit start and let's let that cook all right the last 10 seconds we're coming into of this 400 degree cook at well at 400 degrees for 13 minutes it's about to end, so I'm going to turn it off so we don't get any extra beeps. And just for anyone concerned for the sake of safety, I'm going to just check one real quick. You can see that temperatures are real hot. They're both really well cooked. I've done this plenty of times, but you see the sear marks that um, you know came from the folks who made these on this side. But now I'm going to show you. Well. I want to show you what the New Wave Primo did. You see that? It's a little, uh, a little deeper, more, uh, to me, a more authentic sear on that side there. All right, now I'm going to take and just throw some cheese on top of these. Uh, I guess you could call them twice grilled chicken patties now. So. Let's put the cheese on these twice grilled chicken patties, grilled once by them and then by the Primo. Just going to let that uh, cheese melt in just a little bit for a moment. Alright, just gave the cheese a moment to melt in. And so what I have here for bread, I have some cinnamon raisin bread I made in my bread machine. Out of sandwich bread. So just going to use the cinnamon raisin bread for this. I'm going to go ahead and put my my chicken patties, grilled chicken burger patties on the bread there. And I've got some G Hughes sugar-free honey mustard. <laughs> and nobody paid for anything to be mentioned in this video. I just like what I like. So put some honey mustard on there. I'm hoping this is pretty tasty. Just gonna move the bread around, get that honey mustard distributed around a little bit on the sandwich. So there we go. We've got our grilled chicken burger patties, twice grilled chicken burger patties. So gonna get the camera moved, moved around. And we'll do a taste test. All right, double grilled chicken burger, two patties grilled twice. Let's do a taste. Alright, they turned out well. They're moist and juicy. Tastes good. They turned out well. So, you know, anytime you want to grill up some, you know, frozen chicken burgers, they turn out real nice on the New Way Primo. Give you even more authentic grill mark, sear marks on them if you want that. And so I hope that you like this. You can definitely leave your comments. 
You can find this and other recipes, heating instructions at superwaveovenrecipes.com in printable form. You can always come to this YouTube channel by going to waveovenrecipes.com, Twitter and Instagram, Wave Oven Recipes. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share the video with a friend, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and good eating.